Unique email addresses. Consider a valid email address. It consists of a local name followed by a domain name. Consider this email address. If you add a period between some characters in the local name, any mail sent to this email address will still be sent to the same email address without the period. Consider this new example. Notice this rule only applies to the local name. If the domain name has a period, then this email address is completely different, and thus it will not be forwarded to the same email address. Consider this new example. Another rule is that if you have a plus sign in the local name, everything after will be ignored. So once more, any mail sent to this email address will be sent to the same email address above. And once more, this only applies to the local name. If the domain name has a plus, then this is a completely different email address. We are given a list of emails and we want to determine the number of different email addresses. The first email address has a dot and it also has a plus sign so we forget everything after it. The second email address has two dots and again it has a plus sign so we forget everything after it. So essentially the first two email addresses are the same. The last email address has a plus sign so we ignore everything after it. But notice it has a dot in the domain name which means this is a completely different email address. So we return the number of unique email addresses to. We will solve this in O of n times m time, where n is the number of emails and m is the length of each email. Consider this code. We will initialize a set to keep track of all of the unique email addresses. We then iterate through the list of emails. We will split the email string by an at sign, which gives us the local and domain part of the address. Now we will split the local part by the plus sign. Everything after the plus sign is ignored, so we only want the first part. After that, we now want to handle the periods. We simply replace all the periods by an empty string. And finally, we rebuild back the email address by concatenating the local plus at sign plus domain. And we add the email address to the set. We go through this process with all the emails in the list, and at the very end, the number of unique email addresses will be the length of the set. And here's the code to do so. Please like and follow for more.